Even though American cops have been extra busy recently, earning millions of dollars in overtime pay, beating the shit out of college students, they're never too busy to kill black people. Or anyone, for that matter. They've already killed over 350 people in America this year alone. But in this one case in Florida, senior airman Roger Fortson was chilling at home, talking to a young lady on the phone, not too young, no Drake, when he got a knock on his front door. Went to go answer it. No one was there. Couldn't see anyone through the people. Got a little suspicious. Went and got his legally owned gun because this is America and that is our right, goddammit. Walked back to the door and the cops bust in, see a black man with a gun, shoot him six times, killing him. Apparently they were responding to a disturbance call, but they got the wrong address. So now there's another dead, young, innocent black man and another cop on paid administrative leave for killing someone. But this is an interesting case. This is Roger Fortson here, right? And so this case pits America's love and obsession for the military with America's love and obsession for the cops. And I really don't know what's going to happen unless, of course, the cop is white and then we all know what's going to happen. But I'm just really so fucking happy that as a country, we decided that defunding the police was too extreme.